Hi guys, today we are going to see about bit manipulation. What is bit manipulation? Bit manipulation means algorithmically handling the bits in an effective way to perform various tasks. There are various tasks which can be performed by bit manipulation. They are but not limited to first low level device control to handle the microcontroller and other low level devices we use bit manipulation. Secondly, error detection and correction algorithm. Check my video tutorial on error detection and correction using Hamming code. I posted the link of that video in the description. Then data compression algorithm using bit manipulation. For data compression algorithm, check my video tutorial on data compression using Huffman coding. I posted a link of that video also in the description. Then bit manipulation are used in various encryption algorithm. That is to encrypt the data while sending from one endpoint to another endpoint. And another thing is optimization. To optimize the performance of an existing function or operation, we use bit manipulation. In this video, we are going to see about conversion of decimal to binary, conversion of binary to decimal, and bitwise operators, and what is two's complement, and what are the various ways to perform the two's complement. First, we will see about conversion of decimal to binary. Let's convert the decimal value 1, 2, 3 to a binary number. For that, we need to do the LCM of the given number. That is, we need to keep on dividing the number by 2 till we get 1 and make a note of remainder at each time. Now, we will divide this number 123 by 2. We got the output 61 and the remainder is 1. Make a note of it and then divide it by 2. We got the output 30 and remainder 1 divided by 2. We got the output 15 and the remainder is 0 divided by 2. We got the output 7 and the remainder is 1 divided by 2. We got the output 3 and the remainder is 1 divided by 2. We got the output 1 and the remainder is 1. We got 1. So now we need to write this from bottom to top. That is, we need to write like in this fashion. 1 from bottom goes first, second one goes next, third goes next, fourth goes. That is we need to write from bottom to top. Now we got the output 123. The decimal number is now converted to binary number. Its equivalent is 1111011. Now we will see how to convert binary to decimal. Now we will convert the binary number 1111011 to decimal number. To convert a binary to decimal number, we need to multiply the number in the position with the 2 power of that position. We will see this with an example. Here the position value starts from 0. For example, here 1 is in 0th position. Multiply it by 2th power of its position. That is its position is 0. So 1 into 2 to the power of 0 which gives us 1. Second value, it is the position 1. So 1, the value 1 into 2 to the power of 1, which gives us 2. Next is 0. 0 into 2 to the power of 2, its position, which gives us 0. 1 into 2 to the power of 3, 3 is the position. So we got the output 8. Likewise, we need to do for all the bit values. 1 into 2 to the power of 5, 1 into 2 to the power of 6. Now we need to sum all these values. We got the value 123. With this, we will convert binary to decimal. Next, we will see about bitwise operators. There are four bitwise operators there and, R, not, and XR. And two shift operators, left shift and right shift. The right shift is further subdivided into logical right shift and arithmetic right shift. First, we will see about and. Before explaining the truth table, we will see how and works with circuit. When the circuit is closed, the bulb will glow. If the circuit is open, then the bulb will be off. If we will take the bulb on as 1 and off as 0 and switch on as 1 and switch off as 0. Now we will turn on the first switch. We are turning on the first switch. Now the bulb is not glowing. So for the input 1 and 0, the result is 0. When we turn the second switch on, the circuit is got closed. Now the bulb starts glowing. So for the input 1 and 1, we got the output 1. 
if any one of the switch is off the circuit opens and the bulb is not glowing so and operator means if both the inputs are one then the output will be one if any of the input or both the input are zero then the output will be zero this is and operator now we will see the truth table for and operator that is as we see in the circuit diagram if both the inputs are one then the result is one if any of the input or both the inputs are zero then the output is zero we will do a and operation on a four digit number zero and zero which gives zero one and one which gives one one and zero which gives zero zero and zero which gives zero this is the and operation now we will see about r similarly we see how r works with example of circuit now we will on the first switch the bulb starts glowing that is for the input 1 and 0 we got the output 1 now we will on the second switch if we on the second switch also the bulb still continues glowing so for the input 1 and 1 we got the output 1 if we turn off any one of the switch still the bulb is glowing if we turn off both the switches then the bulb stops glowing that is if any one of the input or both the input is 1 then we got the output 1 we will see the truth table for this R operator. As we seen, if the input is 1 and 1, the output is 1. If any one of the input is 1, then the output is 1. If both the inputs are 0, then the output is 0. We will see R operation on 4 digit binary value. 0 and 0 is 0. 1 and 1 is 1. 1 and 0 is 1. 0 and 0 is 0. Now we will see about a NOT operator. NOT operator is very simple that is if the input is 0 then the output is 1. If the input is 1 then the output is 0. Consider the 32 bit integer value. What is the value of negation of or NOT of 1? If you think the value will be 0. No, the value is not 0. The value is minus 2. How we got the value minus 2? Let's discuss this result. 32 bit integer has the leading bit as sign bit. That is, the leftmost bit in an integer is sign bit. If the sign bit is 0, then the number is computed normally and it is a positive number. If the leftmost bit is 1, then it means that it is a negative value. We will compute the value of a negative number by doing 2's complement of the given number. Now we will see how to do 2's complement and how we got the value minus 2 for the not of 1. This is the first way of doing 2's complement. Write the value 1 in the 32 bit representation. Since it is a positive value, we are making the sign bit as 0 and we are writing it in the 32 bit way. So to find the value of this number, we need to do 2's complement of this number. The first step in doing 2's complement is need to find the not of the given binary value. That is, if it is 1, we need to make it as 0. If it is 0, we need to make it as 1. We found the not of the given value. Then we need to add 1 to the negated value. That is, we need to add 1. Check my video tutorial on binary addition. Now we need to add 1 to this value. We got the output. 1 plus 1 equal to 1 0 in binary so 1 is a carry 1 0 1 then we got the output 2 because the sign bit is set we got the output minus 2 this is how we got minus 2 when we negated 1 in a 32 bit integer that is another way of doing 2's complement we will see we want to write minus 45 in binary way we will do this with the formula concatenate 1 with 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus k where n is the number of total bits and k is the absolute value of the number that is here we will substitute n with our values consider this is a 8 bit value so i am replacing n with 8 that is 2 to the power of 8 minus 1 minus k value is 45 so 2 to the power of 8 minus 1 equal to 2 to the power of 7 2 to the power of 7 minus 45 2 to the power of 7 is 128 so 128 minus 45 128 minus 45 gives us 83 we need to write 83 in its binary representation check my video tutorial for converting decimal to binary so we got the output now prepend 1 with the value which we got so the result is 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 this is the binary representation of minus 45 now we will see about XR operator. Similarly, before going to see about XR operator, we will see a circuit diagram which explains XR operation. 
at the first position when both the switches are off we got the output zero that is for the input zero and zero the output is zero if any one of the switches on then the bulb starts glowing that is for the input one and zero we got the output one if we turn on the next switch also then the bulb stops glowing that is for the input one and one we got the output zero now we will turn off any one of the switch we got the output one that is if both the inputs are zero or one we got the output zero if any one of the input is one we get the output as one the simple thing to note from xr operation is if both the inputs are same then the output will be zero this is xr we will see the truth table for x for the input one and one as we seen in the circuit diagram the result is zero if any one of the input is one we got the output one if both the inputs are zero then we got the output zero we will do XR operation on a four digit binary value. Zero and zero gives us zero. One and one gives us zero. One and zero gives us one. Zero and zero gives us zero. Now we will see about shift operators. Shift operators are used to move all the bits in a binary value by determined number of places to either left or right. Now we will see about left shift operator. The left shift operator means moving the bits in a binary number by a determined value in the left side. The left shift operator are denoted by two less than symbol now we will see how the left shift operator works with an example we will left shift 12 by 3 bit position for that first we need to convert 12 to binary representation and 3 to its binary representation now we wrote 12 in its binary form now we need to left shift the number 12 with 3 bit values so we are taken 3 zeros now we need to add this the leftmost bit is sign bit as we seen earlier. So we need to preserve the leftmost bit. When we are trying to shift this, take the zeros from the left and push these three zeros from the right. So the bits will be shifted in the left hand side. This is left shift operator. So we got the output 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That is 12 left shift of 3 gives us 96. Now we will see about arithmetic right shift operator. The arithmetic right shift is denoted by two greater than symbol. In the arithmetic right shift, we will shift the bits in a binary value to the right side. But here the key is the new bits which are to be added are based on the sign bit. That is if the sign bit is 1, then 1 are added. If the sign bit is 0, then 0 are added. Here we see this with an example minus 96 arithmetic right shift by 3 position. The value is negative so the sign bit is 1. Now we need to do arithmetic right shift by 3 bit position. Since the sign bit is 1 we need to add 1. As we need to arithmetic right shift by 3 bit position we are taking 3 bits. Now remove 3 bit from the right hand side and push this to the left. By this way, we have done arithmetic right shift. The one key difference between left shift and arithmetic right shift is in the left shift, we will add zeros irrespective of the sign bit. But in arithmetic right shift, we will add one if the sign bit is one, we will add zero if the sign bit is zero. So we got the output minus 12. To convert this number to decimal, first we need to do a two's complement. Check my video tutorial on how to convert the number to two's complement. Now we will see about logical right shift. Logical right shift is not present in all the languages. Logical right shift is present in Java. The logical right shift is similar to left shift that is irrespective of its sign bit we need to add 0 that is we need to shift minus 96 by 3 bit position the right hand side. So we need to add 3 bit which are 0 irrespective of its sign bit we need to add 0. So we are adding 0 and we are taking off 3 bits from the right and we are just adding 0 to the left hand side. So we shifted 3 bits in the right hand side. So this is logical right shift. We got the output 20. Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos, please subscribe this channel.